Hello, welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Vonderhaar from Intelvid Research. Joining us on the show this time, Jeremy Toman, founder and CEO over at Augax. Welcome, Jeremy. Thanks, Steve. How are you doing this morning? Very good, very good. So uh, tell me a little bit about Augax Labs. Uh, what, uh, what have you folks been doing? How long have you been around? And what's your mission uh, for the company? Absolutely. We've been around since January of 2022. At my last uh, endeavor, I was at Warner Media, and I've been in the tech media industry for my entire career. I always dabble in learning the tech. And while at Warner, I decided I really wanted to learn how to do some basic video editing. I was surrounded by all these really talented video people, of course. And the same way I can program a little and do this a little and do that a little, I wanted to learn some video. I spent 40 hours trying to learn one of the top tools in the industry uh, and basically, you know, aged significantly as a result because the tools are great but they're designed for real pro users and so as, a, as i think about it it was like it's like me trying to learn how to use drive a helicopter to go to the corner store to get milk right like it's too much work for me to make a basic company promo video or TikTok or something like that and i started wondering myself why is video creation so difficult and so we set about uh building what we call augie augie is a platform design to let anyone in business, any professional, not just not just the video people, the marketers, the social media teams, sales and biz dev people, entrepreneurs, HR, you know, anytime there's need for a video from internal training, sizzle, promo, ads, whatever that use case could be, we want to empower people to be able to take control of their destiny. And when they work with professional video editors, really leverage those skills to make videos that truly pop the kind of things that that basic tools aren't going to allow us all to do so so that's what we're up to uh again it's been 18 months since we launched uh the company and the product's called augie and uh and it's an ai video assistant got it so uh you're helping that uh novice uh, content creator out there what, what are some of the things that augie does to uh, uh facilitate video production we like to say we turn your words into video and the reason we say it that way is it's sort of true we take if you record yourself like right here you could take a webcam or or iphone recording you could take a narration i could record myself you know hi is jeremy here at my startup we do xyz but for those who don't necessarily want to record themselves we've also integrated ai speech writing and ai voices so no matter where you start we'll end up with a script and then we listen to that script. That's why I said we turn your words into video. We listen to the script, we automatically build a storyboard. So even if you're not a video pro, if you've ever even looked at iMovie or, or basic tools, you'll always see a storyboard or a timeline view. Our tool automatically generates your first pass in the industry, it's called a rough cut. We make your first rough cut video for you by listening to your words, understanding the meaning, and then matching them up either with stock media, such as uh, stock clips and stock photos. We have a partnership with Getty that gets us access to commercial quality content with distribution rights. So our customers can use that video professionally. They know that there's copyright clearance on it. Uh, the other thing that it'll do is use your media. So maybe you have a logo or B-roll or a, a chart or a, or, or a flyer, whatever you might want to put in there. So you could incorporate that into the video as well. And basically within about two, three minutes, you can have the, the primer of a video ready to go for Facebook campaign, for an internal training video, whatever you might need. You should be up and running in just a few minutes. Yeah, uh, when you think about content creation tools, sometimes your mind wanders to making cat videos or something like that. Uh, but uh, you really see a, a full-fledged business purpose for this kind of video content creation? Absolutely. What we've learned is 70% of U.S. businesses, 70, that's right, more than two-thirds, make no videos for their business. And by the way, I'm not including segments where it doesn't matter. Like, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but like, a factory, a self-storage unit, uh, an accountant. These businesses probably aren't going to find customers with video, but restaurants, mom and pop businesses, small businesses, startups. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. I've learned this stat. 95% of audiences want to learn about a new product, good or service by video first. I mean, intelligent video today, right? Mm -hmm. um, as an entrepreneur, I need to get my message out with video and I basically am stuck with two choices. 
nothing, sorry, three choices, nothing, uh, which is everybody's first choice. Hire a team, which is great because there's talented people out there. I can't afford that or learn these incredibly sophisticated tools, right? And so we see there's this middle ground where we can empower people to do video-based marketing without having to spend you know, hundreds of hours learning a tool or spending tremendous budget because there's so much opportunity to connect with audiences with simple videos, right? Even taking this webcam recording, I can take myself and you know John Oliver effect and add like a picture in picture thing where if I'm talking about the latest growth in AI, maybe a chart could show up in the corner. So I, I'm, I'm never good at this. A chart could show up over here yeah. that will make my words you know, pop a little more. We've actually already learned that when you compare like a standard webcam recording, which YouTube is now full of, with ones with picture in picture or special effects or text boxes or basic, basic stuff, will outperform by 25% by, uh, by, by watch time and watch engagement. So not only can you make more videos, not only can you do them faster and easier, but you can do the kinds of things that will actually reach audiences better than, than by not. And so that's where we really see this opportunity, just, just huge for people. And, yeah. and that's what our users are doing. Yeah, and what uh, we're big on the idea of applied AI, and this is exactly what you're doing is is creating a a specific tool for a specific use case that leverages AI capabilities in a significant way. Talk a little bit about uh, you you mentioned some of the abilities to to take uh, text and convert it in, into video, but uh, really this is uh, an applied AI tool, isn't it? Absolutely, it's a great question. So. We, we actually apply a lot of AIs. So uh, you can uh, write a script through AI, right? We, in fact, we have a prompt building script. And so you can fill out this form and it'll be like, what is the kind of video you're trying to make? We've learned that lots of users don't even know what kind of video to make. So let's say you want to make a video advertising your pizza shop. You can come into our tool you can go fill out this uh, survey. It'll be like, what's the point? Uh, get customers. What's the age group? 18 to 24, what's the um, tone? Maybe you want to be funny. Maybe you want to be inspirational. Maybe you want to be like traditional, whatever your, you know, your old school pizza shops, so you want a traditional kind of language. And then you would describe like, uh, I need a 30 second commercial for my pizza shop called where I live, Irvington Pizza Company, right? right. Um, and it'll generate the script and generate the thing. So that's all through AI, or you can write your own. We can then voice it through AI, or you can write your own. So you're right. In every case, we're using applied AI to do things. And then we have our custom AI logic, which uses some really deep tech. Basically, um, I think a lot of people have now heard the terms computer vision. So we use AI to analyze the image. So if you upload um, a, a, a photo or a clip of a man walking a dog on a beach, we will, generally speaking, nothing's perfect, but in the 95 plus percent uh, uh, level know this was a clip of a man walking a dog on a beach. And then in your story, when you, you know, let's say you're making one of those pharmaceutical ads where, you know, now you can finally be free to walk on the beach again, right? That, that clip would show up automatically. So there's this whole series of nested AI um, technologies we use uh, that you're right. I mean, we, we are at the application layer of AI. So not the generative layer, which is where companies like OpenAI, Stable Diffusion, uh, Runway ML and others exist. We're the level above that where we build the tools to make it easier. Like we don't think we don't think the average marketer should have to learn prompt crafting and how to figure out the right way to get ChatGPT to do what they want. You should just be able to say, I need a marketing video for my widget, right? And so that's how we look at it. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, you folks are in beta now. Uh, uh, people really don't have to pay for it. Where, where do people go to uh, uh, get access to uh, uh, the initial trial version of, of uh, what you're doing? We'll, we'll put the uh, uh, the uh, URL at the bottom of the screen here, but what is that URL? Just go to uh, beta.meetaugie.com. Actually, you can go to www.meetaugie.com. We'll, we'll, we'll get you there if you start at Meet Augie. For more info on the company, you can go to augxlabs.com. You'll find the team bios and, you know, we're hiring some roles and have some news coming. Uh, but for you want to go try making a video, go straight to meetaugie.com. It is free right now. We'll be introducing a paid tier very soon that'll uh, unlock 
the premium content libraries that are coming live into the product in the next couple of months. So yeah, right so now everybody gets to do everything, but coming really soon, there'll be a whole lot of new stuff just for paid tier. Yeah. No, when you have that paid tier, how's it going to look as a commercial product? Are you going to charge by time period or uh, amount of activity? Um, uh, it's still early days, but what are you envisioning for this? Sure. So there'll be a free tier. We always want to have a free tier. That'll be for individual use, nonprofits, educational use, where you'll get a few videos every month, 60 second um, length, and you'll be able to access. We have basically a free content library and a, and a premier sort of a premium content library. In the premium content library, that'll be unlocked when you pay. The $40 a month will be the starting point. That more videos generated every month. I think we're starting at 15 or 20. Uh, increase the limit to two minutes and get you access to all the premium content. Uh, and then you'll be able to ratchet up. So if you need to make, you know, our power users are averaging 37 videos a month right now. So what if you need to hit that tier or hundreds or whatever, whatever you might need. Uh, and then next year, we'll also introduce, sorry, we'll introduce an enterprise tier allow people from the same company to have like a shared library. So you can have your whole marketing assets folder or, or B roll or any of those kind of things in a shared environment. And you'll also be able to collaborate with your teammates to do things like get approvals or sign offs or feedbacks on the videos that are being made. So uh, where does the product go from here uh, when you get into that commercial phase? Uh, we've talked about some of the basic, you know, text to video type of capabilities. Uh, uh, you got to be dreaming up some pretty interesting stuff for down the line once the uh, revenues start rolling. We do. The very next thing that's coming out, you know, we're pretty transparent about a lot of the things we build. Sometimes we like to surprise our users. Sometimes here's what's coming. Um, but one of the things we do right now is when you, you can choose do you want um, stock media or your own media to fill the video? Um, and that's just because of the way we built it and the logic, et cetera. What's coming next is you're going to basically be able to say, just go do whatever you think is right effectively to the computer, right? So it'll pick your assets first when it makes sense and then auto blend them with stock to fill up void. So if you're talking about your latest, uh, pharmaceutical pill and now you have a freer life and you can finally go on long extended vacations, but you don't have anything in your B-roll of like happy family in the park. That'll auto show up into the video for the user. Uh, so a lot of interesting things like that, a lot of uh, a lot more smarts around helping, especially first time video creators uh, make better videos and understand that matching and understand how to get that um, in the right uh, uh, um, sort of right flow so that you can have the most effective videos out there. Um, so we have a lot of those kind of features coming uh, and as well as the computer vision just continues to improve. We've been at the, <laughs> excuse me, about 50 to 60% matching rate and that's going into the high 90s very soon. So awesome. really, really excited about the, about the new features coming soon. So uh, that's right around the corner. Uh, maybe take a, uh, for a final question, uh, take a gaze in the crystal ball three to five years down the line. Uh, uh, whether it's through Augie, uh, whether it's, uh, or just looking at the marketplace uh, for enterprise tools overall, how is AI going to impact uh, video content creation, uh, say, over the next five years? Uh, what's going to be commonplace uh, uh, in 2028 that uh, would seem crazy for today? I, that's a great question. So I think we'll go back to some of those early stats. So 70% of businesses today, no video, 78% of marketers today say that the reason they don't make video is cost and time. If I were to predict that three to five years and, and not just because of us, because there's a lot of players in the space and the market is so huge, I think you're going to see the, um, the, 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 the challenge of business video creation will become sort of the same challenge as any kind of creation uh, platform. I like to think that in today's world, anybody watching this, and, I, and I'm sure of that, uh, other than like my family, uh, can make, a, make a, a, a written doc or an email, can make a presentation and can make a spreadsheet, right? Everybody in business has those three down. I'm hoping that in three to five years, we're gonna add video to that list because it is the most important and effective media type we have and the most inaccessible. So we're here to change that. Yeah, video is just another type of data and people have to learn how to become video literate and uh, AugX is helping uh, in that charge. Uh, Jeremy Toman, founder and CEO of AugX, thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today. Thanks, Steve, it was great chatting with you. 
And our thanks goes out to you for tuning in for today's episode. To get access to future shows of Intelligent Video Today, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The link is right down there, and you'll get access to more insight from industry leaders like Jeremy. For Intelligent Research, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.